What's going on, folks? I got my safety glasses on because I'm in the middle of making an Egyptian musk oil. So I just put that to the side in the bottle to let it marinate. And while I'm at it, I want to bang out a fragrance review. What I've got here is an old school classic, I want to say. This is called Passion for Men by Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor is no longer with us. Rest in peace. She's an old school actress, very famous in the 70s and 80s, I guess. Came out with her own fragrance. She had a passion for women. This one is passion for men. Presentation, purple cardboard box. I've never owned a bottle of this passion before. Even though I am like an 80s child, I've always seen it around and I'm actually surprised that it's still in production after all these years. I've been wearing it for about a week and a half now and I think I'm ready to do my review. So you got the purple cardboard box presentation. All right. Yeah, and here's the bottle. The bottle's very interesting looking, really nice purplish bottle. And uh, it's not opaque. If you put it up to the light, you could actually see your levels. So you can see how much cologne you have left, which is a good thing. She was a big deal back in the day. A very famous actress, very beautiful famous actress. Old school sex symbol, the whole nine yards. Back in the day, she was a big deal. I like the scent, but I was disappointed in the performance. I would say it's a maybe four or five hour performance cinnamon amber spicy floral it smells similar to obsession for men by calvin klein it smells similar but this has a little bit of a darker tinge to it i don't know why it just feels it smells like it's got a the lavender is a little bit more prominent and it's got like a dark floral note that gives it a little bit of a mystery like a mysteriousness to it um, I don't love it. I think it's an okay scent because of the longevity. It only lasts about four or five hours and it doesn't project very strongly. That's my biggest gripe of this. You got a nice lavender, very similar to Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein, which I've always said smells to me like a niche high-end version, even though it's a designer. Even though it's a designer, it smells to me like a niche version of Old Spice. That's what I get from Obsession for Men. I get the barbershop, like a lavender, uh, soapy um, base to it with the cinnamon and, and um, the spices. And I get like a very high-end Old Spice vibe to it. And I get a similar vibe with this one, influenced from that Old Spice genre. The only difference is, I think the Obsession smells more animalic. It's got that civet note to it. This one smells less animalic. And this one also has that mysterious floral note. I'm not sure what it is, but it kind of gives it a little bit of a, like a melancholy dark darkness to it. Like a little bit of a darker vibe. It seems like a very versatile fragrance. You could probably be, you wear it all year round. What can I say? I didn't spend much for it. The reason why I bought it is because it's been lingering around on that. I've been seeing it like on the fragrance shelves and it's just been lingering in these stores and I'm like I wonder what that is I wonder what that smells like you know it does smell familiar and maybe there were times back in the 80s where I smelt it and maybe I mistaken it for obsession it's not like a redundant form of obsession because it does have like a little unique twist to it so you can't have both of these in your collection and it won't be redundant I like the Calvin Klein obsession better I feel like it's blended better that's all I got thank you for watching and I will smell you later